guys, Sean from Milano Day by Day here. Today we're at the St. Augustine Aquarium. So um, the St. Augustine Aquarium is just off of I-95 here on uh, 16. So it's close to the outlet malls. I think the Marriott Courtyard is next door. Um, the uh, aquarium just opened last year. So we're gonna go in and take a look at what phase one includes. Um, some people have asked us you know, what all is there to see there? It doesn't look like there's a lot to see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out, see what you can see what you can see for, I believe it's $8 for an adult, $5 for uh, children to get in. Uh, so we're gonna go explore the aquarium today. Come along. presentation for you guys. So, um, first of all, I'd like to ask you guys, how many seahorses do you think are in there? Just at first glance. Eight. They're actually pretty close. There's 11 in there. So a few more than you'd spot right off the bat. They're very good camouflagers, so that's why a lot of people don't know that they're found all over the place on the Atlantic coast. Um, this species in particular is found all the way from on these guys? Two. Two, yep. It looks like they have two right on the top there. Um, those are compound eyes. They're, they're much like a fly's eyes with many lenses. So they're very good for seeing. They also have five simple eyes by this little nose looking area here um, that's raised up a little bit that allows them to look in different directions just for very simple things like shadows. They really only detect light. Um, so whether it's dark or light, they can tell like what's around them. water that's full of the oxygen and algae that he needs to breathe and eat, and then he'll spit the rest out. Um, and inside of that shell, he's actually got what's called a Yeah, hey, are you guys Hey, good. How you doing? side by those bubbles you see them oh yeah, yeah. And then there's a lobster tucked into that piece of coral there oh, yeah. those guys yeah if you guys are curious about anything or have any questions just go for that how long do you you just go for how long you want it's uh it's 20 minutes in the water 
the whole session was about an hour, including getting geared up and creating a lot on deck and all that. So this is the uh, 80,000 gallon tank that they have that you can do snorkeling in. Um, just talked to the guy, it's about 20 minutes in the water, um, but the whole session is about an hour long, uh, just as you uh, suit up and get briefed and all that kind of stuff. About 20 minutes in the water, that's pretty cool. snack shack here too for snacks but again this is the uh, 80,000 aquarium 80,000 gallon aquarium you can see there's also I don't know if I can get up there there's also rafts so if you're not comfortable with snorkeling they have uh, clear bottom rafts for you to use you can go out on the water and you can look down at the fish it is the same tank here that you can see in too and again, there's a lot of reflection here today. Put you right up against the glass so you can see the fish in there. So in just a few minutes we are going to do that and it's very exciting. But first I'm going to talk a little bit about these sharks. We have three of them and they are nurse sharks. So does anybody know why they are called nurse sharks? Over here. Why are they called nurse sharks? Because they look awesome. Yeah, that's partially true. Um, it's also the sound that they make when they eat, it's a thing of a very powerful suction. So that's kind of what, where they get their name from. But the two larger ones, the darker colored guy here is Bruiser, and the other one is Helen. Now they are both about eight years old. And the little guy who's just swimming by you guys over on that side is Bruce. He's about three years old. Now all of these sharks come from different science centers. So she just kind of puts the food down in the water slightly and waits for them to come up to her. And you will notice when they start chomping at the food, they have a very powerful suction, so that's just to just kind of release the food with the tongs there. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. That could be a little bit startling at first. Today we're going to feed them some fish, squid, and shrimp. And whoever has a red ticket to feed them can go over there and see Taylor. Over to the other side, so we'll over here. Okay. Watch. Look, watch, pay attention. Right up here, okay? Right up here. There you go. Good job. Well, there's the other snout that they can use to keep their eyes to look down through the clear panel. We can see the same below. 
You guys can still see. Kind of suction yeah, against the side of the tank and back for food like little dolls. So they are also adding, you can see up here, they are also adding a zip line and bridges. So you know the zip line out across, looks like across the parking lot there. Exploring at the uh, aquarium here. So up front here, it's kind of a um, they got seahorses, um, horseshoe crabs, and things like that. Kind of touch and feel. Um, then behind me is the uh, 80,000 gallon tank. That is the tank that um, if you do do uh, snorkeling, I think it's $35 for snorkeling. Again, as I said earlier in the video, it's about an hour long session, 20 minutes in the water. So you got that 80,000 gallon, gallon tank there. And then in the back, there's a tank um, that they do shark feedings. Um, if you wanna uh, feed the shark, there's a ticket purchase price. That's at the uh, uh, snack shack here. It's $5 for you to uh, uh, feed the sharks. Um, they do have a snack shack if you're um, hungry and things like that. So it's mainly these three sections. Um, that you get to explore here at the St. Augustine Aquarium. Thanks for joining us.